Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making this adorable heart-shaped little album. I made this for my daughter. She's 13 years old and I'm going to give it to her for Valentine's Day. I think this album, it's so inspiring for a young lady. She, she'll, so she'll get it on Valentine's Day. So I'm going to just quickly flip through it and then we will make it together. So it does have, it has four, four um, pages but they're front and back, so a total of eight. And the front, it has the Be Beautiful die. These are all Stamps of Life products. So we're using the dotted circle hearts for the actual album pages. And then again, these are from the dotted circle hearts and just some Stamps of Life embellishments. And this is popped up on foam just to give some dimension. And when you open it up, it has my friend, there's just some embellishments here, and then the word happy, and then there's some more hearts here. When you open these up, you can actually put pictures on here. So there's a few places there for pictures and a picture here. Okay, there's the sweet statement set. That's the sweet word die, and you can put a picture here, as well as here, some more of the Stamps of Life embellishments. Now these are from the from one of the paper pads. I'm gonna show you the paper pad that I've used for this album. Another picture you can put here, and there's Be Happy. And then this I just made as a little pocket. And this piece is from the, the Dotted Hearts as well. And I just put a couple little tags in here. And this one says Friends. I actually had some more. I don't know why they're not in here. Um, laugh. We have another one that says Cute on it. So those are some stamps. I'll show you the stamp sets that I use with those. And this is just a little pocket and you can just stick those right in there. And then this is from the gatefold card set and just put that on there. It says the, has the word love. And then the back is just plain. So really simple, easy album to put together. This is the paper pad that I used. It's called the Wishes Collection and it has such pretty vibrant colors in it. It's not necessarily for Valentine's Day. There's more florals, there's a few hearts, but you know, more florals in it than anything. But this is where I got those little words that I just cut out of this paper pad. So they have a, some cute ones here. You can see the colors, the color scheme. Some flowers. Okay, wishes. I didn't use this because that's more for birthday, but I did use the flowers. I think those are pretty, and I didn't use the numbers because those are gonna have to come up for birthday. <clears throat> this is what I used on the front cover. So you can see there's a few hearts in here. That's probably the only bit of our hearts that you're gonna find in here. Again, it's mostly flowers, and then it goes back to the beginning. So that's the Wishes collection. So that's what I used for this cute little album. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through how to make this. All right, starting out, you're going to need to get some lightweight chipboard. If you don't want to use cardstock and you want to make your album a little bit more sturdy, you will need to use some lightweight chipboards. Um, so what I've done is I have taken my dotted, this is the largest dotted circle heart in the set, and I cut out the lightweight chipboard um, four times because I wanna have four different pages. Now, obviously, if you want more pages, you'll just need to die cut, you know, however many pages you want. Now, you also need to make sure that all of these little circles, all of the little, um, the chipboard is poked out of those circles. So my suggestion is run this die through your die cut machine. I, I did it at least four times. I still had to poke some of those circles out because even now some of them still are in there, but you need to make sure they're all out. Now, if you didn't wanna to have to deal with all of those dotted circles, you can also, if you have that scalloped heart fold it from the Stamps of Life, you can also use that. That will work too because it's an A2 size and it's big enough for an album. So um, that's another choice. And then you'll also need to decide what papers you want and you'll need to die cut your eight pattern paper um, and again, that's with the largest die in the set. So before you start gluing these on, you'll need to decide what pattern paper you're gonna want for your cover, and I'm gonna use this one. And then when you open your pages, you'll need to decide what, pa what papers go work well together. So just by looking at my album here, I chose these pinks. So when I open it, the pinks will look nice together, okay? And then you need to decide 
what you want to have on the next page, and so on and so forth. So decide that, and then once you have those decisions made, you can then take your chipboard and you can start gluing this down. So I'm gonna, I'm, and I'm using glue. Again, make sure all the holes are poked because you're gonna need to line your holes up as you glue this down. And I need to clean this nozzle because nothing is coming out of here. So I'm actually using an art glitter glue and this glue comes out white and I'm not putting it over any of these holes. I'm gonna go back with a clear glue and put it over the holes because my Tombow liquid glue, it is clear, but it's okay if it comes through the holes because you won't be able to even see it. All right, so once you have that, you're gonna need to put this on top of your chipboard making sure that those holes are lined up. And my suggestion is using glue rather than your tape runners. Tape runners are not, just the, just the adhesive, it's not as permanent as glue. So I find that these will stick better and you'll be able to move it around in case you don't get your holes lined up exactly. So the holes need to be lined up if you want this to look, if you want this to look good. Okay, so there's our cover. So I'm gonna go through and I'm going to do the rest of my pages. So on the back side of this, I had this one. So I'll go ahead and put this down. And then I'm just gonna take my Tombow liquid glue, put it over the holes because I do want it to come to the edge. I don't want the paper to just come up at the edges. So it is important that you get the glue down at the edges. And then just press that down really well. All right, so I went ahead and adhered all of the um, pattern paper to my pages. So now I'm gonna set everything aside except for page one. And we're gonna work on this page. So to get these hearts, you're gonna take, I think this is the third largest die in the set. And you're gonna die cut, this is candy cardstock, and you're gonna die cut it twice. There's two layers here. And you're gonna die cut it twice to get that heart. And then with the beautiful die, um, the shadow layer is going to be um, in the green. This is the pattern paper, green pattern paper. And then I did um, some pink pattern paper on the front or on the, on the actual words. But I think I'm gonna change this up. I'm thinking I'm gonna use white instead of the pink. I think that the white might show up a little bit better. All right, so for the beautiful die cut, you're gonna to wanna to put double-sided adhesive on the back side of the actual words. These letters are so intricate that if you don't put the double-sided adhesive, you're gonna end up with a big mess if you're trying to use glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add these to my shadow layer. All right, so there's my beautiful. And then I'm gonna take my die cut um, of the hearts and I'm actually gonna put some foam tape on the back. These hearts are going to, that's how it's gonna, we're gonna add some dimension to them on the front cover of this album. So we're gonna have foam on the back side of both of these hearts. Now make sure that when you're adding your foam that your foam does not go over top of these holes because if it does, you'll be able to see the white through it. So the first heart is gonna go down on top of your page. So let me lift my adhesive up. And when you add it, make sure that it is centered and that the middle part, the middle, the middles are lined up, okay? And then you're going to put the foam on the back of your second heart. All right, so just put the foam on there, take the, uh, the backing off and line your hearts up. Again, make sure that those circles are lined up as best as you can. 
So you can see that it's going to add some dimension. Okay, and then your beautiful is just going to go right on top. So when you put it on here, I just noticed that some of the L is going to be hanging off of the side. So just make sure when you're adding your glue, don't put it on the bottom of that L. I think that white looks better than the pink. So glad I made that change. All right, so that is our front cover. So I need to put some of these flowers on here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to use my hot glue gun off camera and stick these down. So there's your cover. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do before I move on um, is I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole where I want my hole to go for my album rings. And I'm gonna be using my crocodile on the 3 um, three sixteenths side punch. And I'm just gonna come in and it's gonna be in the um, upper left corner. So I'm just gonna come in and punch okay and the reason I'm gonna do that now and I waited until after my cover was decorated is because I wanted to make sure that when I punched the hole I did not punch it too far in okay so now we're gonna take our other pages make sure they're lined up with the right sides going together because you don't want to accidentally punch on the wrong side of the album. So I've got, where's my yellow? Oh, there's the yellow. And then I need this one and then this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna line the first two up. Just make sure that the hearts are lined up. I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I want that hole. I do the same thing with the next page. And do the same thing with the next page. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with my Crocodile, and I've found that a regular hole punch does not cut through all of this, all of these layers. So the nice thing about the crocodile is you can see there's a little hole here, so you can see where that mark is. And once you have it lined up, you just punch it, and and there it is. Okay, so do the same for all your pages. So next we're gonna work on this page, and this is a very simple page. It does have some of these um, little sayings. So you're gonna need this paper that is in your paper pad, and there's the My Friend. I think I also used the Call Me and the Be Happy in this pad. So just go ahead and cut a few of these out, and you can just use your paper cutter to cut them and then trim them down with your scissors. So I just trimmed down one side of this, and now I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut this. But I am gonna use my scissors just to trim some of this white off because I don't need all that white showing. So there's the My Friend. So that is gonna go right here, kind of at a diagonal, so I'm just gonna glue that down. And you can use any types of um, stamps or embellishments that you might have because you most likely are not gonna have the same ones that I have. So I've got that. And now I'm just gonna put um, a few of these. And I always like to just add glue to these little, uh, what are these called, the epoxy dots? just to make sure that they stick. There's 
for my friend. And then these other um, little arrow things, those are stamps of life. And I just had some of my stash, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those. Again, I'm just gonna add some glue just to make sure that they don't go anywhere. Okay, so that page is complete. Now to get this page, this is just a little flip up that you can put pictures. And I have three pieces of pattern paper that are cut into cut from the heart, the same heart that we used on the cover. So find three matching um, papers, and if you're just using the same paper pad, just pick any three, and I've got, you can see my color scheme here, and then cut the die cut those out, so three hearts. So you're gonna take your three hearts that you die cut, and you're gonna need your scoring tool, and you're gonna come over and you're gonna score just where this, where this middle heart is, and that comes out to about a half an inch down, so just make sure it's lined up at the top and then find your half inch and score because you need to be able to fold that when you put it in your album. And you're gonna do that for all three. All right, so these are gonna go on your page, just making sure that they are centered and you're only gonna add glue above the score mark. So just above the score mark, not below. And I'm gonna take my clear glue and just cover up those dots. And you're probably wondering why I'm using two different glues. And I just find that the art glitter glue is really strong. I mean, the Tombow is too, but the other one, I, I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's a little bit stronger. So go ahead and glue those down. And you're gonna do that to all three. So adding your glue up at the top, above the score line. Making sure you get where the circles are because you don't want to have your paper coming up. You're going to need to line up those circles on the bottom layer and the one that you're putting down. And then just hold that down just to make sure it stays and it dries. So next I have the word die for the word happy. This comes from the happy statement set. And I die cut the shadow layer out of the kiwi. And I die cut the word out of the powdered sugar. Ooh, and I did put double-sided adhesive on the back of this. That's why it's so sticky. And now I'm just going to add those layers together. All right, and then that is just gonna go right on top of this heart. And notice that, first of all, make sure you don't put it above the score line. Because if you put it above the score line, when you flip this open, then it's going to, it's just gonna mess it up. It's gonna mess the die cut up. So you wanna make sure that it's below the score line. It looks like the P's are gonna be centered and some of the H is gonna be hanging off and some of the Y is gonna be hanging off. So I only wanna put glue from this part of the H all the way to right here on the Y. And if you put glue too far over, just wipe it up. So that completes that page. And now you have a nice little waterfall that you can flip through and add pictures in there. So on this page with the word sweet, I just die cut the shadow layer out of the same yellow and then the letters out of the, um, it's the polka dot with the pink. And I'm just going to glue that straight down. And what I suggest when you're gluing this down is take a look where this hole is and then kind of position your T, make sure it's not over it. So start on that side. Um, and just try and position it so that it's not overlapping that hole. And 
take one of these flower embellishments and I did put some hot glue and add it to your page. On this next page, we're just using this little Call Me from the paper pad. So we'll go ahead and add that. That's gonna go here in the top right. And I'm gonna put some of these tiny little epoxy dots. And then I'm going to put two flowers. One is gonna be the pink, and the other one is gonna be the yellow. And those are gonna go just right here at the bottom. So I'm just using some hot glue. And that completes that page, so you can put a picture or something in there. So on the back side, we're using the Be Happy from the paper pad. Just putting it in the top right corner. And then I'm gonna take some more of these. I don't have any more of the small ones, so I'm just gonna use the next size up. So I'm just gonna take a heart, just add some heart stickers is another embellishment and that completes that page so next we have our last page and we have a couple things going on here we do have a pocket so I want to show you how to do this pocket so when you do the pocket you're just going to take another one of your hearts um, it's the large heart and you're all you're going to do is just cut it right down the middle and that's going to let you have this side um, that you can put here for a pocket now, if you wanted to have a pocket on the bottom, you would just cut your paper in half this way, okay? So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna off camera, just cut straight down the middle. So to get this little heart border, I'm gonna take this set. This is in the heart um, set with the circles. And I'm just taking a piece of the powdered sugar cardstock. I did put double-sided adhesive on it, and I'm just gonna run that through the die cut um, because I don't wanna have to put glue on this after the fact. So make sure you do the double-sided adhesive. So once it comes to the die cut, just make sure all those little circles are cut out of it. And then take the heart, it's gonna be the half heart that you cut down the middle, it's gonna be the one that is on the right side. And basically this is gonna layer right at the edge of this heart. So just make sure it's at the edge. And once you have it at the edge, just take your scissors and just snip off the excess that you don't, that's just hanging off the side, the excess that you don't need. Okay, and just press that down really good. It does have the adhesive on it, so just press it down really well. Then you're gonna take your piece and you're gonna make your pocket lining up these um, circles. And when you, in order to make a pocket, you're not gonna adhere the whole thing down. You're just going to apply glue on the edge. So I'm putting it over the dots and then a little bit to the left of the dots. And then just make sure that your circles are lined up Next I have this love die. It looks like this. This comes from the gatefold card set. And if you have any other hearts, you can do you can use whatever hearts you have. And I'm going to die cut this out of just some candy cardstock. And in order to die cut these so that just the heart with the word love shows up, just like this one. You need to make sure that you have these hearts layered just like I do. But <clears throat> before I do that, I am gonna put some double-sided adhesive onto the back of this because I don't wanna have to put some glue on that. So when this comes out, 
it's all uh, one big sticker. Just peel the backing off. Make sure that the um, holes there are punched out. And then I just put it here just to add another layer of something there. Okay, and then this piece, this is a little pocket, so you can add stuff right inside there. Now, if you were putting the pocket down at the bottom, you would just put glue on the um, pattern paper just along this edge. You wouldn't put it on the top because you'd wanna stick stuff in the inside. And then I'm just gonna add a few hearts here. Okay, and then I uh, have this one of the smaller heart dies and I die cut a few papers and those can just go right inside of the pocket. Just as extra, you can put little photo mats here. Now one trick I wanna mention is that when you are putting pictures in your album, you can actually take these dies and you can die cut a photo and that way the photo is shaped like a heart and then you can just put your photo on your, um, on your heart page or in your photo mat, however you wanna do that. But those will go in real nice like that. Next, I'm gonna take these stamps. These are the mini four circle stamps and they have these really cute sentiments on here and they're really small, like love, hugs and kisses, adore, um, family, fun, friends, laugh, wish, cute. So some of these are really cute for Valentine's Day. Others, you know, just happy birthday. Obviously, I'm not gonna put that in the album. There is a be mine on here. So I'm just gonna take a few of these. I think I'm gonna do a laugh. And I'm just gonna put that on my stamping block. And I'm gonna stamp it out on just some um, candy cardstock. It's a solid color, um, a solid um, pink cardstock. Well, that one messed up. So I need to do that one again. Okay, so there's laugh, and we'll do a couple of these other ones. How about the XO? We'll do friends. And inspire. Okay, so I have a few of those there. I'm just gonna cut these out. All right, so I'm gonna take these and I am just going to put a little bit of glue on the back and I'm just gonna add them to the bottom of the heart. Just like a little caption. I think that would be really cute. So there's laugh, we'll do friends. Isn't that cute? Super cute. I also have these really cute tags that I die cut with this die. And this is actually from the, let me see, die frames for planners set, which comes with all these really cute dies that you can use in this little mini album. But I'm gonna use this one. And I die cut it out twice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple more of these sayings. And then for these tags, they actually have this little hole in them. I'm just gonna add a little ribbon. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. And we'll do the same for this one here. Now I just wanna make sure that these are the same length, approximately. Okay, so aren't these so cute? So these can just like be little photo mats. You can put little photos or do write stuff or whatever you wanna to do to it. 
And then all of these cute little tags can just sit right inside of this pocket. Isn't that cute? Just like that. So next you're just gonna take some album rings. I have this, um, these are just silver. They're one inch album rings. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. And then just put your pages on the rings and close that up. Okay, and there's your little album. The only other thing that we're going to do is just add some ribbon to the side and then we'll be done. So I'm just taking three different color ribbon, the same colors that are in my on my pages, and I'm just going to put these through my album ring and I'm just going to tie these So I just tied it in a knot and then tied it in another knot. Nothing real elaborate. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can straighten out the bottoms you want to just snip off into a diagonal those bottoms that one's done I think I'm going to go back to this page and just add a little felt flower I just think that'll add a nice touch because the flowers here are the same as what's on here. So just make sure that if you do that, you put it above the score line so you can still open this up. I think that's cute. All right, I think that adds a nice touch. All right, so there is my album. So we'll quickly go through this again. So at the front, I have the Be Beautiful statement with the hearts and the added dimension with a couple more flowers. Then I have from the paper pad, the My Friend, I have some embellishments here. I have the flip through where you can put more pictures. The sweet statement. Oh, and this was the happy statement. Sweet statement, you can put more pictures here, pictures here, more pictures here, and then I have this little pocket with these cute little tags that have the XO and the hugs, some more hearts, friends, and laugh. So those are cute, you can do some journaling or just add pictures or whatever you want on that. And then that goes right in there. The little border here I think adds a nice touch as well. And then the back is just plain. And just some ribbon here so I think that turned out super cute so if you have any questions or comments please let me know by leaving them down below if you like this video tutorial please click the like button and I will link all the products in my blog so if you're watching this on YouTube um, you can go down to the description box and you can look at there will be a link to my blog and you can see all the products they are all stamps of life products from the ribbon the embellishments to the papers to the dies everything um, so Again, if you have any questions, leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.